I've been wanting to do another Street Fighter road bike build for a while, or as some would call it, a flat bar road bike. So when I was in the Salt Lake Bicycle Collective recently and I saw this Reynolds 853 KHS Flight 800 frame set, I knew I'd found the perfect frame and it was in my size. While I was at the Collective also, I was able to find a nice set of Mavic wheels with some bladed spokes and some Ultra Sport uh, Continental tires that I felt would be perfect for the build. And so then it was time to dig into my parts bin. Now with a Street Fighter, with the one that I did in the past, my, my Le Monde Nevada City, that Street Fighter I built up with basically parts that I picked up from the Salt Lake Bicycle Collective. Now a lot of my parts bin have been parts that I've found at the Collective also, and a few other places. And it gives me a chance when I come across a build to be able to dig in and try to find something that might work. And on this bike, I do a lot of commuting now on, on my Street Fighter. I've got hills in my commute that with the current setup, it gets kind of hard. I also want to see if I can go a little faster with some slick road tires rather than the gravel tires on my Nevada City. So we're, we're going to see with these parts that I've got in my bins if I can make it a little better. Now, with, with these Street Fighter builds, the idea that I have is, is really the best frame set for it is a, a full-on true road bike frame. For me, I'm a lover of, of steel frames and the feel that you get from them, the longevity and everything. And then really what tops it off is a nice slammed look and those flat, straight handlebars. I'm a big fan of, of no rise, just straight up slammed. Now, it's probably not the fit and feel for everyone. I probably wouldn't want to do a century on a Street Fighter, but for my commute, which is like a quick seven mile ride into work, uh, I like to, it, it's downhill on the way in, so I don't push too hard, but on the way home, it's a nice good workout of pushing myself hard as I come back home and then uh, get the uphill at the end. So, now that we've got the parts mostly sorted out, as we just finish up choosing a cassette, I was trying to decide between 10 speed and possibly 11 speed. Stick around and you'll see what I decide to do. I did pull out the 10 speed for now though. So, let's get into the build.
Thank you. 
And with that, the build is done. And as Seth says, it's time to stare at it for a while. I'm quite happy with how the build turned out. This bike is beautiful. I, I love it. As a mountain bike guy, the flat bar is awesome. I love the black, the glossy black with the orange accents. It's awesome. And that 11 to 51 rear cassette saves my, <laughs> saves my lungs on the climbs on the way home. This thing rocks. It's fast. I could probably put even bigger than the 38 chain ring that I put in the front. It's awesome. And it rips fast. So thanks for following along with me on this build. It's always awesome to give these old frames, other bikes, new life, to turn them into something that's truly yours. This bike is truly me. When it comes to road riding, Street Fighter's where it's at. So, as always, look for opportunities to give those old things new life. Get out and ride your bike. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video. Ciao. And while we wrap it up, enjoy the ride montage. <laughs>